So today we are eating Karelian stew uh, with mashed potatoes and uh, some homemade pickles and lingonberries. Uh, this is a recipe that I like to share with people because it's really good and extremely simple to make. Yeah. So next you're going to see how, how to make a dish like this. So in Karelian stew you should have approximately one kilo, two or three different kind of meat. I'm using rabbit, moose and goat. I'm taking the membranes off, all the excess one, because it's going to be like chewing gum if you leave this. It's a bit like skinning a fish. And then you should cut the meat a bit bigger than bite size, because it's going to be in the oven for a long time. It's now evening and we are going to put this in the oven overnight. It really doesn't matter what part of the animal the meat is, because it's going to be so slow and long cooked. Just cut it into cubes. This is a really old traditional Finnish food. It's usually made from pork and beef, but you can use any kind of meat you have. So, because we have rabbit, we have goat, and we have moose, so we are going to use those. And then the moose. This is already cut into bites, so I don't have to cut that. Then you should fry them a bit. Let's put the pan on heat and some butter. And just wait the pan to get really hot. Now oh, it's nice and hot. Then get your meat in. At this point I'm adding a bit of salt. And black pepper. This is a really great food if you don't have time cooking. Just to Actual cooking doesn't take long. You just cut everything, throw them into the pot and into the oven. And you can just forget them there. The longer the better. When do you know when the meat is ready, when you have fried it enough? It would be good to have some brown spots, but just so that the surface is closed on the meat, that's fine. There you can see some browning. I think that's enough. I'm going to put them in here and all the choices too. Then you added some water. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? To get all the rest of the flavors of the pan. Okay. And we're just going to pour that there. Like so. And the rest 
I'm gonna put some kidneys. These are rabbit kidneys. There's a bit of membrane and fat. If you don't like kidneys, you can just leave them out. Or if you really love them, you can add more. I'm always fighting with my mom of these. So you didn't fry them at all? No, they're gonna cook just fine. And rest of the ingredients is onions, carrots, garlic if you like it, and some spices. Really easy food. I'm gonna peel these. So here's about half a kilo of carrots. And the end part also goes to the rabbits. Or if you don't have rabbits or other animals, you can feed these peelings and ends. You can boil a broth and add these to a broth to give flavor. Uh, same as with the meat. Uh, you don't want to cut too small because it's gonna be a long time in the oven. So I usually, the thinner ones, I cut like these. And if there's thick ones, I would just put them in half and in the about same length. But these are all quite thin. It really doesn't matter what shape it is, it's just, a, just not too small. And then also there. Garlic, so I'm just gonna crush with my knife so that the, they're easy to peel and the oils get loose enough. It's gonna flavor better, but you don't have to cut them. And onions too, just not too small. I'm just taking the ends of cutting in half and then just peeling the outer layers. These go to the pot. And because I'm always running in the forest, I'm gonna put some mushrooms. So these are dried mushrooms? Yeah. I think drying is the best way to preserve them. It enhances the flavor and you can just keep them in a, in a dry and dark place almost forever. <laughs> So these are mustavahakas. I have to <laughs> check the English name. And then we are gonna add some. This is my total mess. Some bay leaves. I think two is fine. And some allspice. Just a few. A bit more black pepper. And a bit more salt. And then it's done. Just add water so that everything is covered. Like this. And then lid on. I'm gonna put the oven 
at 75 Celsius because it's now almost 11 in the evening and we're gonna take it out morning it's gonna stay all night so that's done didn't take long yeah under half an hour yeah yeah and now you're free to do anything you like go to sleep or if you're doing this in the morning you can do whatever you want to do on that day easy food so now the Karelian stew has been in the oven almost eight hours in 110 degrees celsius and we're gonna take it off and this is how it's look looking so as you can see the meat is really tender and now it's ready really simple yeah, what, what would you have with it uh, mashed potatoes and lingonberries takes a long time cooking but you don't really have to do anything mm. you're free to do whatever you want so if you liked our cooking video please subscribe like and comment on below see you next time <laughs>